Um, so, dear Prime Minister Borisov, uh, dear Deputy Prime Minister Donchev, uh, dear Minister Petkova, uh, dear colleagues and uh, friends from, from AMCHAM, so thank you for the opportunity again. And um, we're living through uh, very uh, strange times, uh, but again, I know you're very busy. Uh, it's uh, difficult to, uh, to be leading a nation these days, but thanks for the, the time to, to spend with us. Um, I'll be quick. Um, we obviously uh, would like to hit on a, a couple of uh, points which we think should be the priority uh, for the, the next government. Um, I'm I don't think I need to uh, a presentation. We have been established more than 25 years ago. We have more than 300 members in total. And, and here with us, you have the uh, executive committee of Pancha. Um, one of our top priorities at Amcham is uh, the development of a sustainable business climate. Uh, and we've been working uh, relentlessly to, to achieve this objective. Um, I would say that over the last two years, um, we're very pleased that uh, uh, we've had very good uh, success in terms of improving the business climate. Um, last, you know, the, the, the first thing that I want to state is the political stability. Um, that we have been experiencing. I'd like to congratulate you, Prime Minister Borisov, uh, for uh, you know completing the term of your mandate under very difficult circumstances. Uh, for the business community, I think political stability is very important, um, and uh, I, I really hope that uh, going forward, you know, such political stability will, will continue. Um, in terms of the, the business climate, and specifically moving to the US. Uh, uh, collaboration, collaboration with the U.S., uh, strategic partnership with the, the U.S. Um, is, is vibrant. Uh, we know that there are uh, many working groups and, 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 and discussions, specifically in the energy sector. Uh, so as American Chamber of Commerce, obviously, we're very pleased uh, with this very strong relationship. And, uh, well, to me, the highlight uh, of, of this U.S., uh, Bulgaria, um, you know, renewed uh, and strong relationship was the, the trip uh, that most of us in this room uh, did uh, to the White House, uh, uh, you know, to, to, to meet former President Trump. Um, I think there's still a lot to do. Uh, and, you know, to, to say things bluntly, uh, in terms of the business climate, I think, um, well, Bulgaria can do much better. Um, the, just a number. I mean, the, the FDI, foreign direct investment, is still very low um, at a couple of percent of the uh, annual gross domestic product. Um, Bulgaria can do much, much better than that. Um, Bulgaria has huge potential to attract foreign investors and investment in general, to develop its economy. The country has, and you know better than, than me, but when I lived in Bulgaria, I, I really enjoyed so much, not only you know, the country, but the people, uh, very, very strong, educated workforce. Now, what is needed in order to reach this potential? Uh, well, I don't want to expand too much, but I think these are very well-known facts. Improvement of rule of law, uh, fight against corruption, uh, and overall improvement of the business climate. I think if businesses and companies feel welcome in Bulgaria uh, with the right business environment, they will come and they will come in much greater number, making much greater investment that has been the case. So I think it's a great opportunity for Bulgaria. And as I'm Cham, we uh, very much look forward to, uh, you know, the next government to, uh, to, to be pro-business uh, because that's what's going to help Bulgaria to fulfill its growth potential. Uh, my second and last point will be on the energy sector. Um, we, uh, so I'm, I'm talking here in, in the name of AMCHAM, obviously, but representing uh, among our members uh, two uh, large U.S. companies. Uh, I think I would like to stress and thank uh, um, Minister Petkova and the government for huge success 
in terms of the stabilization of the electricity sector. I mean, I remember very clearly uh, when I first arrived in Bulgaria in 2015, the sector was in complete disarray in terms of lack of payments to the producers, uh, regulatory instability. I think we've gone a long way, and thanks to your leadership, Minister Petkova, uh, and, and, and this government. I'd like to recognize this. I think going forward, um, the key um, objective for the energy sector, I believe, is um, well the future of the Moritz Basin. I think this topic uh, is, is essential because it's dozen, tens of thousands of jobs associated to it, and it's also you know, related to, quite frankly, the energy security of the country and energy independence. And on that, I want to be very simple. I have one message uh, on the name of Amcham, which is um, there is a lot of a big opportunity today uh, with the Recovery and Resilience Fund to capture EU funding to support the financing and the transformation of the sector. I know that gas uh, pipeline has been included into the RRF. I think carbon capture and sequestration project of large scale should be included as well. And I, I, we would very much support, you know, getting CCS project included into the RRF in order to leave the option open going forward. I think Bulgaria has a huge opportunity to be a leader in carbon capture and sequestration, uh, given its existing uh, thermal base. Um, I think Bulgaria can be a leader not only, well, help the Bulgarian sector, but in Europe on carbon capture and sequestration. I can tell you that as much as there is hype around hydrogen, there is also a lot of talks about carbon capture and sequestration, which is the only way to get to net zero carbon economy by 2050. So I would really urge Bulgaria to do everything possible to include this into the uh, resilience and recovery plan. And I would add that on the US side, Department of Energy um, has done a study for Bulgaria on CCS, um, and, and I think that the U.S. side can bring a lot and support, including the companies, uh, to support this. I will stop here. Um, I, my colleagues will continue on the other topics. Nogo um, Blagodaria and Ms. Lia Cepo Lesnoe da Prodeljalvame na Bulgarski. Zato Nogo Blagodaria od novo i Cejavi Kubovden. I uspech na uspite to the election. Blagodaria no.